Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to start rigging the eyes. As always, if you want to follow along, you can download the workshop library for this tutorial series in Mansur Rig's ArtStation profile. I left the link below. Since you already know the basics of block, we will start from this partial rig I created, which includes some global controls, neck and head setups. The mesh is temporarily skinned, but we will change that of course as we progress. So let's deconstruct and dive straight in. First, I want to create a full eye control that will allow animators to transform the eye with the eye socket as one. I'm going to use a free control module for that, which is going to be parented under the head module. I'm going to name the module, change the control shape to a square, check the is facial attribute and create. The is facial attribute won't change any behavior, it is simply a tag for the picker and the module visibility tool. To make things faster, I already created a helper locator, which is positioned at the center of the eye and aimed at the eye's pole vertex. I'm simply going to match this locator's transforms with the new guide I created for the full eye. Now I'm going to create a look at module under this full eye guide to create a standard eye aim IK behavior. Note that the is facial tag is automatically checked since the selected parent module is set to facial. This is a very simple module that will create a slave control at the root guide's position and another master aim control at the custom guide's position. So I'm going to leave the guide root at the same position as my full eye, since I want to orient the eye from the eye mesh center. But I'm going to pull the aim custom guide out to a comfortable position for the look at control. Let's construct and take a look at the result. As expected, we have the full eye control as well as our eye aim module controls. When I move the IK control, the eye slave control is aiming at it correctly. Let's skin the eye mesh to our eye aim joint so we can see the result a bit better. Now you must have noticed we're missing something here the standard global aim control for both eyes. Let's deconstruct and see how we can easily create that. What we need is another simple control that we can set the eye aim control space to. So let's use a free control module once again. I'm going to select the head module as a parent since I don't want this control to move with the full eye control. Also, I'm going to turn off the create joint attribute since I don't need a joint for this control. I'm going to position this control on the YZ plane and align the X position with the eye's aim guide. I'll open the module settings again to add a few spaces to this control since I want to give the animator space options for the IK control. Now all I need to do is add this new control to the space list of the IA module. Once I construct, I can switch only the IA aim control space to the global eyes aim space. This setup will result in the standard eyes aim control which includes a space switch, as well as the individual IA aim controls. Once I finish my setup, I'll simply switch the spaces and set them as a default for both eyes. We will symmetrize our modules a bit later once the entire left side is finished. Great, our eye setup is finished. Let's stop this video here and continue to the next one, where we'll create the eyelids rig. If you find these videos helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.